Okay, so let's say that you have a Vue.js app or a Laravel app and you want to make them public so other people can test them on the internet. In my case, I sometimes work on different projects for my clients and we do not have time to set up a development server for some small projects. However, the client still needs to see what I'm doing. So what I do for these cases is to use tunnels. By using tunnels, we can share our application that runs locally on our machine to the internet. So the idea is to create a URL that people can access and any request they make from that URL will be routed to your local service at the specified port. So to start, I have already created a Vue.js app and a Laravel application. So this is very simple to do, of course, and for the Vue.js application, I am using the Vue CLI. If you have followed my tutorials on Vue.js, you already know what Vue CLI is. But in any case, you do not have to use Laravel or Vue to achieve this. It can be anything, Django, Symfony, etc., etc. You just have to start a server. So let's see how I can push these two applications, one in JavaScript and the other one in PHP live. So first of all, we need to install a globally local tunnel. For this, you should have Node.js already installed in your machine. Again, we already know how to install Node.js from the videos here on develop. So the command is sudo npm install dash g local tunnel. So we need to install this globally. So I have already installed this, but after the installation, you are ready to go. So now I will go back. So let's try the Laravel application. So the command here will be very simple to run this server, php artisan serve. We already know this, right? So if I go back, localhost 8000, we can see the Laravel application running. So in order to push this Laravel application on the internet, I can go to my terminal, open a new one and run lt dash dash port 8000. So this will generate a new URL for me. So if I copy this URL, I can actually open as a URL from here, you can see that it will reflect whatever I have inside localhost 8000. So as you can see here, this is localhost 8000 and this is the result that I have by using local tunnel. Of course, if I go ahead and I make a change here, for example, Laravel 1 to 3, and I go back, I reload in my localhost and also I can do the same in my tunnel and you can see that we get again the same result. So if your client requires some changes, you can go ahead, do the changes, and just say to your client, reload your browser and he will get the result immediately. So this is the power with tunnels. Now let's do the same for the Vue.js application. So back to my terminal here, I will run npm run dev. So this will run the server and we are going to have this available in port 8080. So I can create a new tab, lt dash dash port 8080. Again, we get a URL. I'm going to open this as a URL. And we are going to get the same result. So this is the 8080. And this is the result by using tunnels. And again, of course, if I go ahead and I make some changes, uh, let's say here, hello. I reload, I reload here as well. So this is hello, so the new result. And again, you get the same result in the tunnel. So I just wanted to show you that you can do this with any framework. It doesn't have to be Laravel or Vue.js. As long as you run a server, it can work. Now, later we are going to work with React Native and for React Native, I use Expo XD. So this is how I create native apps with React Native and they actually do the same thing. They generate a URL and you can open that URL from the Expo mobile application on your phone and it will run on your phone. But this is for later. For now, if you want to stop tunneling, you can just go ahead, close this, for example, this terminal and do the same for this one. But they are actually already timed out, so it doesn't work anymore. But yeah, anyway, this is how you can use tunnels to
put your localhost projects live on the internet.